Well, in an effort to always be on the cutting edge as Fifi the Magic Clown, required that I keep adding fun things, new things, things that people would talk about to my magic show. And this brought me one day to the Davis County Fair. They have a place called the Animal Barns. And this is where uh, people put in bunnies, rabbits, doves, pigeons, chickens, roosters, all kinds of little critters. And I always like to check it out to see what different things are out there. Well, at this particular time, I came across what they call a banshee rooster. I'd never seen them, never heard about them. And they're the cutest little things, just little tiny roosters, um, but fluffy, you know, had sort of poofy little feathers and just the cutest thing. I And I thought, this will be great. How many kids around Utah have had a chance to see a rooster up live and close? So I talked to the guy that was selling his uh, banshee roosters and he told me all about them. And they're a lot like chickens and same kind of food and habitat. And so great. I bought two because you can't just have one. You got to have two. You don't want your little critter to be lonely. So I packed up my little banshee roosters, headed for home, got the setup for them, had a nice setup, had the right uh, food and had water and everything, got them comfortable. And then I started practicing with them in the different magic props that I'd be using them in. Well, we practice and we practice and we practice. And every time those little roosters were just great, no matter which one I used, just right on target every time. I was so excited. The big day came. It was a Saturday, and I think I had five shows lined up to do this particular day. So I had all the kennels that the animals travel in and the new kennel for the Banshee Rooster. And uh, we got to the first, sto sto <laughs> the first show, and I was just so excited because I thought, this is going to be great. These kids are going to go nuts seeing this cute little baby rooster. Well, got the patter all set up and explaining this new magic box and how powerful it was and that I needed someone to help me. So I pulled one of these little gals right from the front. She came up, had the magic wand, told her what magic words to say, how to wave the wand. She waved the wand. She said the magic words and all the kids clapped as she tapped the magic number on the box. <gasps> And then I reached over and I lifted the box. I was ready for great excitement, but then it happened. That darn banshee rooster had flipped on its back and shoved out two of those hideous looking claw studded feet with that wrinkly red skin. And the little girl screamed and said, it's dead. And then when she screamed, all the kids started screaming. It was a mass of kids screaming. I'm like, no, he's not dead. He's not dead. Look, look, he's not dead. And that little rooster poked his head around. And the kids stopped, started sort of whimpering. Okay, he's not dead. I said, you want to touch him? And... Then from the back, one kid yells, Ew, there's blood up there on top of his head. And there's blood coming out over the side of his face. And all the kids started screaming, It's bleeding, it's bleeding, I don't want to see it. I go, No, no, he's not bleeding. Look, this is what they call the crown. That's the crown on the top. It, it feels like rubber. It's not blood you want to touch it. No, no, I don't want to touch it. That's bloody. Well, you guessed it. It took 15 minutes to get those kids settled down. Nobody wanted to touch that little banshee rooster, no matter how cute it was. That rooster knew by sticking its ugly little feet up in the air and scaring those kids. Not one kid would want to touch him. Yeah, the banshee rooster run on that one. And you guessed it, the rest of the day, every single time, that darn banshee rooster would flip on its back and poke those ugly feet out. So every time, the kids would scream. Well, try to rooster the other rooster the next day. No go on that. 
Same thing, like they teamed up and planned it all out. They figured, well, we got it made here. We got a place to stay. We got nice food. We got a nice bed. And we don't have to work. Well, I'm committed to my animals. So I thought, no more banshee roosters in the show. We'll just have to have two banshee roosters of pets. Well, then comes the next story. Till then. <laughs>